Hello guys, how are you? I'm Radwan and I'm here today to explain how to deploy a Python application to Iroku using Docker. First of all, as you can see, you need to create a Iroku account. I created a Iroku account and since I used this Iroku account three years ago, so I have sample application deployed in my Iroku account. You can go to Iroku, Iroku login and create an account. Here you can create an account and login. After login, you need to install the Iroku CLI. As you can see here, Iroku CLI. So you can install Iroku CLI. It's depend to your uh, system distribution and architecture for example for me i used iroku with ubuntu just with a simple command sudo snap install minus minus classic iroku after installing iroku you can check the iroku version here iroku iroku is installed and come with uh, some command line as you can see here my Iroko version is 10.42.4 and it's a Linux and with node version 12.16.2 after installing Iroko CLI and create an Iroko account let's try to deploy uh, a docker or a flask python application dockerized to Iroko. First of all, let's provide a Python application by cloning this application from GitHub. This is the GitHub link. So, cloning ls, we have the Alpine Hello World Python application. So, cd Alpine Hello World and ls we have a docker file and a web app so cut the docker file to learn what we have we have a based application based in alpine late version after we need apicat it's a command line to install dependency in our alpine distribution here we need to install python 3 and with some dependency like pipe and bash also we need to copy this web app requirement.txt it's uh, included some requirement needed in our application like flask to a temporary directory inside a file called the requirement.txt after we need to install this list of dependency using pipe 3 installed here after add the web application content to opt web app this is our work directory it's op web app after we need to expose the 5000 port and here we create a simple user called my user and after cmd it's will run a server here and bind the port to 5000 with the w SGI server. So let's take a look to our application cd web app and ls. We have app.python, it's my file uh, when we have our, uh, our application, and a test.p to test our application, and wsgi python, it's to run our application. Let's start with our application. We have import flask as a OS and this application will have a simple root and will return a hello world. This is our application. After we need to take a look to our wsgi.python. It's from app import app as application to execute our application. And finally, the list of requirement. This is the list of requirement. We need to install the server 
جون ايكون انستال ذي فريم ورك فلاسك انستال ذي تومبليت انجين جينجا تو اند ورك زو ليتس جو باك تو ذا توب اند ناو افتر تيك ا لوك وات وي هاف ان اور ابليكيشن وي نيد تو كرييت ان يوروكو ابليكيشن سو وي نيد تو يوز ذا يوروكو كرييت بات بيفور اف يو دونت لوج ان تو يور اكاونت يو نيد تو اكزيكيوت ذا كوماند لاين ايروكو لوجين تو كومينيكيت بين يور سي ال اي اند يور اكاونت ايروكو لوجين وي ويل اوبن ا نيو براوزر جو تو لوجين اند لوجد ان بيكوز اي لوجد ان ماي اكاونت بات In your case, you need to insert your mail and your password. Great. Go back. And login is in Radwan dot asakra dot malt at gmail dot com. So, after we need to create a new application here. So, what you see, I have four application. Let's create a new application using Iroko. Create, and the name of application. Let's try. Flask Iroko Docker Example Great. Let's let's take a look here. This is our new application. Flask Iroko Docker Example. So now we need to uh, create. Or push our application to Iroko. So we need to use this command Iroko container because our application is a containerized application. After two point push, what we need to push the web application. So this is our web application. First of all, uh, Iroko need to run the application, and after. Dockerize the application. Let's Google it. Let's take Iroko. Container two point login. Yes. Succeed. So let's try again to release. Pushing, pushing. We need to wait a few time because it's depend to my network speed. We have here. We need fifty four. Megabytes, but my network is very slow. Finally, our image is pushed to the registry. Uh, finally, our image is has been successfully pushed to our Iroko registry. Now we need to create a release or create a container from this image. Using a con uh, command line called Iroko container because we need to run a container. Two point release our image name called web. Our image is released, and now we need to open our application or to test our application. So Iroko, up. And this is our application with Hello World. We can also test this URL using Postman. This is the name of our application, and we have the router. And here we can. Do it. With Iroko and Twitter, hello world. 
it's very simple this is all for today thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you soon in the next video bye bye